Okay, here we are. Excuse the flattering helmet. Listen to this. <laughs> right, I shall discuss driving modes shortly, but uh, in a word, track mode. And now here we are at Portimao in Portugal, driving the car on track. Now, as I'm sure you have deduced, conditions are not perfect. It's pouring down here. I've never driven this circuit before, so it'll be interesting. But here we go. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's one thing I don't need to tell you. It sounds beautiful. Now, of course, we are now experiencing the full force of Aston's collaboration with AMG. Yes, that's right. This now has an AMG engine in it. Now, when this was first announced, it was somewhat controversial. <laughs> but just listen to it. There's nothing controversial about that. <laughs> and it's got a lot of torque, as I'm sure you can tell by the way it's stepping out on me. Now, it is absolutely drenched here at Portimao. So, this isn't necessarily the most appropriate day for me to be telling you how dynamic the car is on full chat. <laughs> yes, it has a lot of torque. Over 500 newton meters, in fact. You've really got to feather the throttle in this weather. My God, even in this condition, you can tell how well balanced this thing is. So let's talk about it. 500 and three brake horsepower, no less. AMG engine has been fettled, so it still sounds like an Aston Martin, which of course is very important because that's such an iconic signature feel of this brand is the way it sounds. And do you know what? Even though this thing's very easily letting go right now, by God, is it well balanced. Even when it steps out, it's very manageable. The thing that's taking me by surprise is actually the torque, particularly in the wet, is quite spiky. Fortunately, the R&D money that went into this traction control is really paying off. Because it's catching me every now and again. In fact, it might be catching me just a little bit too much. So, let's play around with these settings and see how it performs when it's allowed to play a little bit more! 7,000 RPM! Massive swell of torque! Beautiful. Now, the Vantage of old had no downforce at all. And while this car isn't fitted with a big wing or anything like that, it does actually generate 80 kilograms of downforce from the rear. It's making this car a little bit more stable. Under braking, it's lovely. This does have the optional carbon ceramic brakes. Oh, listen to it. Now, gearbox. Controversially or not, despite this being a super modern day sports car, it is in fact using the ZF small conventional eight speed gearbox. But I'm sure you can tell by the way this thing shifts. It's no bad thing. It's absolutely rapid, look slams it home straight away. You would actually be forgiven for thinking it was a twin clutch box because of how responsive it is. Try and turn this in now. Oh, it's lovely. So this car now is going straight after Porsche in the 911 category. But with this engine and the amount of torque it's got, it feels like these guys should be heading for the Turbo S. It is lovely. And one of my criticisms of the Turbo S is that while it's ballistically fast, it never really had a great deal of theatre about it because it was, it was a little bit soulless in the audio department. <laughs> I'm sure I don't have to confirm that this thing sounds absolutely awesome. So what's it like to drive? Well, we've got several driving modes. There's options to independently control chassis and damper settings from transmission and throttle settings. Forgive me a second while I'm trying to find the, the wet line here. This particular right hand sweeper has got lots of rubber on the inside. Very slippy when it's wet. But I tell you what, it's dealing with it so well. I'm, basically, I'm brand new to this circuit. 
and I'm already full of confidence in the ability of the car. Let's, uh, let's play with some traction and see if we can let it play around just a little bit more. There we are, ESP track. Let's see what this is all about. Heavy on the brakes. Speaking of brakes, we now have the option of carbon ceramics. They come standard with the more conventional steel rotors. I mean, it's funny, this, you know, technically isn't a sort of dedicated track car. <laughs> but it seems to be really at home here. Woo! What a lovely thing. On this channel, I typically like to share things with you that you can't Google, because for me, if you can Google it, I'm not really providing you much value. So I like to tell you things like what it's like to actually drive. And I can tell you it is thick with torque. There is a lovely swell that builds heavily. It's, it doesn't really ever lift off. In fact, when I'm accelerating flat here, even in fourth in the wet, it is spinning up a little bit. And that just shows how much torque it's got. I guess, really, it makes this car very entertaining because while it's very easy to drive and quite flattering, in the wet, I'm still very consciously on it. <laughs> what a lovely thing. But on track, in the wet, it's such a promising formula. I honestly cannot wait to drive this thing on some lovely dry roads. We've flown all the way out here to Portugal to try our best to experience exactly that. And it's pouring down, so I'm kind of glad because it gives the experience on the channel with the car that I'm getting a lot more legs and opportunity to go and exploit it in the dry. So good times to be had. It doesn't have a particularly high rev range, but you don't feel like you're short shifting as a result of that. It's just the right amount to suit the character of this wonderful engine. Have you heard it? Woo. Okay, that's wet, that's slippy. <laughs> wow, it's very, very slippy. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> but what a lovely experience. I'm trying to figure out how to turn off everything. Because if anything, this traction, even though we're in track mode now, it's kind of holding me back a little bit on the slip front. So driver modes, we have Sport, we have Sport Plus and we have Track Mode which is toggled on the steering wheel here and then we have the suspension control. The throttle response sharpens and you get this wonderful sort of tautness about the whole chassis as soon as you, you put it into Track Mode, it tightens up and it means business. And of course when you take it from Sport to Sport Plus, this car is fitted with the optional sports exhaust. Now if you notice on the standard car, it has a single exhaust out of the back. The sports exhaust, which this has got, as I'm sure you can tell by the way it sounds, has the quad exhaust outlets at the rear, and it's thunderous. You've got lovely pops and bangs on the overrun and on downshifts. It just opens up the whole character of this car, and it's just a sense of occasion as soon as you put it into, into Sport Plus. Speaking of sense of occasion, it is absolutely pouring down. I can barely see where I'm going now. Fortunately, checker flags out. So uh, it's time for me to come in. Early signs are this thing is very promising. Please, guys, as I mentioned, you, you know, you don't get these opportunities to live with such new cars so early. So please subscribe to get alerts for the content coming from this car and I also want to hear from you as to the kind of things you want to see. We've got such an amazing opportunity so let's make the most of it. As always guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you